My name is Alberto Valenzuela, and I take photographs. Grew up um, with film photography. Uh, my family had collected photo albums like any other family, and we shot film because digital didn't exist yet. And I just, um, yeah, I just always just thought it was magic. I was more into Polaroids back then because they were instant, and you know. But then I appreciated uh, dropping off film, and then you know, kind of forgetting about it, and then seeing the photos come back. It was like, oh yeah, that's the shot. There was uh, there was a movie, and I kind of hate that this is what got me into shooting uh, photography. Is uh, the movie called El Salvador? I think it was just Salvador with James Wood, and he was a like a, a combat correspondent photographer out in the Civil War in Salvador. And I always thought that was really cool, and you know, being in the action and seeing all these. I mean, it was horrific things, but just being in the mix, and then James Wood turns out to be like this huge, just, and it's just like, ah, oh, you got me into photography, and uh, it was fun because when I joined the Marines, I actually first I wanted to be a photographer, combat photographer, but they didn't give me that job. But I, I just, it was that movie, in Salvador. I think with film is. Um, the fact that it's basically crystals and it's like light absorbing crystals and then a chemical process that bring this just something that can't be captured digitally no matter how many filters you try. I shoot digital too but with film it's always a shock and a surprise because I mess up a lot and uh, so I'm always you know I'm just like oh it worked and I think that digital just because you know I, I try not to check my shots but it's there uh, but with film you know I gotta take the shot and trust my instincts and training and the settings and just say that it is what it is I mean a lot of times I'm mad at film because it doesn't turn out like how I envisioned it and I but I think that it's helped it certainly helped me growing as a photographer because you have to know about like exposures and settings and uh, composition helps a lot because you know you don't just want to waste film because you know it gets kind of pricey then like it's so limited it's either 24 or 36 to a roll and you just like ah oh, you want every shot to be good and in reality I mean that a perfect roll is like something to aspire to I haven't reached it yet but I, I think I, I like what I shoot with film uh, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Uh, I, I like to shoot a lot of nighttime stuff, but ISOs only go so high, and then it gets to really grainy stuff. But I like uh, candid moments, especially at nighttime, because I feel that, especially like in a dark downtown bar scene, when people just kind of, not the sloppiness, I mean, that's, that's funny, but like I feel that a certain level that people are just more themselves and real, and if they don't know that I'm taking a picture, that's sounds creepy but I just like capturing those candid moments I I prefer film uh, even though like I said it gives me headaches sometimes when it doesn't turn out or I mess up a load I'm really bad at loading film uh, but I think that film just it's just more of a I kind of see it like as a, being a photographer is like being a magician and a magician can't really amaze themselves with their with their own tricks because they know the secrets and but with film I know certain things and I, I have expectations of what it could turn out to be but I don't know until it's developed and shown to me They're like oh that's what happened digital can replicate a lot of what how a film looks uh, and not to and but it's not gonna capture the same feeling and I know that's you know kind of hearsay and film has feelings or film if film evokes more emotion I feel even if you even a younger generation that didn't grow up on film that just knows digital it's like when it's like our records you know uh, you can listen to all this music on Spotify or YouTube or wherever you listen to it but like when you put a record on it's a whole different feeling even if it's the same song it's just a whole different experience and I think that's what film represents it's a different experience of, of a magical moment when I shoot film, I sort of have a generalized game plan because film is so finite and I only have a certain number of exposures. So I go in with a certain game plan most times. Uh, other times I look at the 
film stock and uh, what it what it's done before in certain situations and then I try to test it out with digital it's more I'm just gonna try anything and see what happens because it's digital and just you just click away and that's fun too but I guess it doesn't bring the satisfaction as a film shot if I had infinite resources I would I want to tell a story that I want to recreate the whole experience as best I can so I would shoot on slide film and project it onto where the audience is going to see this uh, but different scenes throughout like in a gallery and projected instead of printed because I feel that when a, when you project slide film in the right settings it's just like it's just a whole different experience and it's kind of like those little little I forget what this called beta things when you look through it and like the retro um, the kind of 3d effects I think that that's yeah I'd do one of those then <laughs> slide film it'd be slide film my favorite film stock is uh, it's a black and white film I'm gonna go with T Max I feel that it's very versatile um, especially the high ISO I don't really shoot it at 3200 I shoot it more at, like, at 1600 but it can go to 3200 and because I do a lot of nighttime stuff and just wander around like I feel it's just the most versatile and I can I can trust it and I can develop it with the mono bath myself so that's that's my favorite my favorite camera would have to be the one that I have nearest to me uh, but right now it's, it's this uh, M6 uh, but I I have a lot of cameras and I, I use a lot of them and it's just I don't know if I could have a favorite, like why a favorite, it's just whatever one works. I've had a lot of cameras over the years and a lot of them have broken down and not the prime situations or times and it's just like, ah, it's so frustrating. But uh, yeah, so if it just works and right now this M6 is, is you know, it's taking a beating and it's, it's still ticking and it, I know what it's going to do. Sometimes I do wish that it was an SLR though because <laughs> I put stuff in front of lenses like kaleidoscopes and stuff and you can't tell with the rangefinder but um, that's it's, as long as it takes a shot. It's fine. I think that uh, those people should, people that don't understand film or don't appreciate it should certainly give it a try just because it's a different process. I mean if you boil it down, a, a, a sensor is pixels and you know that's also dust and sand and crystals but like film is just it's a different thing. It's like, why would you drive an automatic versus, why would you drive a stick when you can drive an automatic? It's just a whole different experience. And I feel that not only is it a different experience, but it, it, it helps you be more present in a moment. Uh, because with film, you can't check your shot. Uh, you take the shot and then you, you move on. Uh, digital, you know, even if you do your best to not look at it yourself, you take a picture of someone, they're gonna ask to see it. And then, so then you're out of the moment and then they're gonna see it, they're not they're not smiling, they're not blinking, whatever the case may be, they're going to have to take it again. And you, you're, you're recreating authentic moments, which makes it not authentic anymore. It's, it's loading film, because there's, um, luckily this camera, the, the little winder, you know, will rotate, but there has been more than more than a dozen situations where I didn't load it right, and I just I was shooting, and I was in, you know, I was shooting film because I'm trying to capture the moment, and then I look at it, and the leader's just still there, and it's just like I uh, one time I cried, I cried, I, I'm not gonna deny it, I, I cried because I didn't load the film right, and it's just like it, it's, it hurts. I think the future of film photography is that as much as I love film and I, I don't want it to die, but I think that it kind of needs to die. Not for, um, not just because then we would everybody would appreciate what's left and all the film prints and everything that was shot on film, but because digital hasn't emulated, hasn't replicated film. But once a new medium comes along, that does capture what film, the, ex the film experience and more, I don't think that's digital. And so I'm kind of curious as to what it could be. I don't know what it is, it, you know, maybe a VR thing, or I don't know, but like, I don't know what it is, but we'll never get there if we still have this, if we still have film. 
and I kind of want to get there. I mean, but I also don't want it to die. But it's just like, whatever is next is gonna like completely blow our minds because I honestly don't think it's digital. I think that digital is great, but it hasn't captured that same experience. And whatever comes next, it's gonna just you know knock our socks off. My name is Alberto Valenzuela, and I shoot film.